Let's draw the molecular orbital diagram of F2 with a 2 plus charge. Let's begin with the atomic orbitals for F. I'm going to ignore the first shell because it's non-bonding, it's not the valence shell. What matters to me is that there is a 2s orbital in fluorine and three 2p orbitals. Nice. We're being asked what F2, so there's a second F which carries its own 2s and three 2p atomic orbitals as well. I tried to put these at the same height and these at the same height because they're the same atom. What happens when the 2s atomic orbitals overlap? The answer is you get two molecular orbitals. You get a sigma 2s bonding orbital and a sigma 2s antibonding orbital. When the 2p orbitals overlap, you end up with one, two, three, four, five, six molecular orbitals. The lowest energy one is a sigma 2p bonding. Then you have pi 2p bonding orbitals. Then you have pi 2p antibonding molecular orbitals and a sigma 2p antibonding molecular orbital. So those six atomic orbitals made these six molecular orbitals. Oxygen, fluorine, and neon all have sigma 2p as their lowest energy molecular orbital in this zone. Well, these are obviously lower, but this is the order of energies in the molecular orbitals for oxygen, fluorine, and neon. Boron, carbon, nitrogen, anything before oxygen, these two are switched. There's a crossover there because of the effective nuclear charge and the pulls that the orbitals are feeling. What you came for is this diagram, F2, 2 plus. Fluorine brings seven valence electrons each, and so I need to double it since there are two of them. And this plus two charge means that I've actually lost two extra electrons. That gives me 12 electrons total for this valence shell molecular orbital diagram. I know fluorine has nine electrons total, but again, there's, there's a 1s that I haven't shown here. All right, let's fill this bottom up. 12 electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Please note how I spread them out before I doubled them up even down here. You've got to go from the bottom up Aufbau principle, but when you have two orbitals at the same level, you have to one and one before either of them get paired. That's called Hund's rule. This is your molecular orbital diagram for F2, 2 plus. As a bonus, your teacher might ask you for the bond order of this. Your job is to find the number of electrons in bonding orbitals, take away the number of electrons in anti-bonding orbitals, then cut that in half. Bonding means no asterisks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons in the bonding orbitals. One, two, three, four electrons in anti-bonding orbitals. Eight minus four is four, cut it in half is two. That's a nice whole number. That implies to me that this is a double bonded and stable species. If there was a 0.5 here, it would probably not be stable. But uh, that was just bonus. What mattered to you was this. Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. Good job. Thanks for being here. Best of luck.